Well, today we have another puzzle from Nikolai's book, Extreme Sudoku. This is puzzle number 291 from that book. This puzzle is pretty tough, especially at the point where we have to get creative. We'll talk about DCE and DRE, double column elimination and double row elimination, strategies that help eliminate numbers and help eliminate specific cells where a number can fit. I'll talk about that in a minute. To print this puzzle, click on the link in the description below. You can also go to sudokuprimer.com and uh, find lots of printable puzzles there. Each puzzle has a video on how to solve it, so if you print one and try and solve it, can't figure it out, you just go to the video in a link uh, for that puzzle and you can see how it's solved. Well, let's get to work. We'll start with some uh, easy ones like we always do. There's one one and that's a one. Here's a two two five five, so these are two fives here. Two five twins. With that five there, we can fill in the two and the five. Uh, there's also a, a nine right here because we got a nine in the middle row there. And then we got nine nine there and a nine here, so that makes that a nine. Now we've got a five here, five here. And five there, so that's a five. And also, we've got a four here, and we have what are we missing here? Three, four, and eight. One, two, three, four, seven, eight. And so that can't be a four, because we have ghost fours there. We have a four there in this column, so that's a four. All right, and then we got fives here, so five, five, and a five there, so that makes that a five. And a five here and a five here, five, five, and a five there. So this is a five. And we've got an eight here, ghost eights there, and an eight there, so that's an eight right there. Now let's look at box one here. We've got nines here, nine, nine, and nine. So one of these is a nine, but it can't be this one because we've got a gate pattern right there with a, a nine going through it and a nine here. So one of these is a nine. So that can't be a nine. So that leaves only that cell in box one for the nine. And then we've um, very similar, we've got an 8 here, 8 here, so 8, 8, and an 8 there, so that's an 8. Now let's look at um, column 5 here. What are we missing? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 3, 4, and 8. Well, there's a 3 and an 8, so that one is a 4. And now we're missing 3 and 8 here. Well, we've got an 8 here, 8 here, so that's an 8. And that leaves a 3 there. And then here's, uh, remember our 3, 4, 8 triplets we had? With that 8 there, makes that an 8 and that a 4. Now let's look at column 4 here. We're missing 1, 3, 4. Four, seven. One, three, four, seven. Well, here's a four and a seven, so these have to be one and three. There's a three there, so we can put a three in that cell and a one there. And then these are four and seven. And with that four there, we can place those two numbers. Uh, 
All right, and now um, let's look at box seven here and see where the four goes. There's a four here and a four here. So the four goes in one of these three cells in row nine. And we're going to use double column elimination to determine which cell the four goes in. First of all, here's a four and a four here. So one of these is a four. And they're in, it's either going to be in column one or column two. And here we have a four. So the four in box one has to be in column one or column two, in one of these three cells. The, um, and with that, we have double column elimination. So if that's a four, one of these has to be a four. And also, if that's a four, then that has to be a four. That eliminates column one and column two for box three. And so we know that the four in box three is in column three. So that's double column elimination. And we have double row elimination too, which is the same thing only in rows rather than columns. And we'll go over that in just a minute. We'll have an example of that. All right, now we're missing six and nine here, and there's a nine there. So that's a six and that's a nine. And then we've got a nine here, nine, nine. So that's a nine right there. And an eight, eight, eight. So that's an eight in box nine. Now we're, I'm gonna use a double column elimination again to determine where the six goes in box four. There's a six here and a six here. So one of these is a six. So let's see if we can figure out which one of these is a six. Well, first of all, we've got a, a six in this column already here and a six here. So we have six, six, six. And in box three, we've got a six, six, six. So six, six, six. Six, six, six column one and column three, and six, 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 column one and column three. So that means column two has a six in it, because if that's a six, that has to be a six. If that's a six, that has to be a six. So that can't be a six. So column two is where the six goes in box four, using double column elimination. Well, at this point, we are stuck, and... Uh, uh, we're going to have to get creative to move past where we are. So let's look at column 8 here. We're missing a bunch of numbers. What are we missing? 1, 2, 3, 6, and 7. Well, here's a 3, 6, and 7, so that's a 1 or a 2. Here's a 6 and a 7, so that's a 1, 2, or 3. But I'm going to use double row elimination to show you that the 3 can't go in this cell right here. We've got a 3 here and a gate pattern here with a 3 going through it. So ghost trees there. So 3, ghost trees. One of these has to be a 3. And then here's a 1 or a 3, 1, 3 twins. So in this section right here, we've got a three in seven, uh, row seven or eight, a three in row seven or eight here. So the three in box nine has to be in row nine, one of these three. Now we don't know which one, but it doesn't matter at this point. But if you remember, we have a one, two, three, six, seven in, in this column here. 3, 6, 7 there, so that's a 1 or a 2. And this is 1, 2, 3, 6, 7. But I just showed you that that can't be a 3, because a 3 has to be in one of these cells here, in row 9 and box 9. So that's a 1 and a 2, 1 or a 2, and that's a 1 or a 2. So we have 1, 2 twins here. Okay. And with that knowledge that these are 1, 2 twins, let's look at this cell right here. 
we're missing two and seven in row five, right? Well, this can't be a two because we have one, two twins. That makes that a seven and that a two. So that's how we get past this stuck point. And the only way we could get past it is to determine that we got threes here, threes here, and threes here. And then see that we have one, two twins there so that we can place a seven here and a two there. All right, now we're only missing two and three in box six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, two and three. There's a two there, so I can put a two here and a three here. And now, we're, what are we missing in column three here? Three, five, six, seven, three, six, and seven. Here's a six and a seven, so that's a three right there. And we can't uh, place a six or seven yet. At least I don't think we can, no. All right. Uh, let's go to box eight now, because now that we have a three here, we know these that's a three, that's a one. All right, and uh, remember our one, two twins that we just found, which helped us find the seven, two there. Now we know that that can't be a one with this, and also the two is the only number missing here. So that's going to be a two. And therefore, that's a one in column eight. Now let's try looking at uh, uh, box four here. What are we missing? Three, four, seven. Well, there's a seven there, so that has to be the seven. And there's a three there, so this is a three, and that's a four. And now with this four placed here, we got a four, four, and a four here. So that's a four right there. And a four, four. So that's a four right there. And then we're only missing one number in row two here, and it has, happens to be a two. So I'll put that in. All right. And now we've got a two here, a two here. One of these is a two. Can't be that can't be that one because of that two. So there's two right there. And we got a two here and a two here, so that's a two. All right, let's look at box one here. We're missing one, six, seven, one, six, and seven. Well, there's a one here. And there's also one one, so that's a one right there. With this seven there, we know that's a six, that's a seven. We're also missing one, six, seven in box seven here. There's a one and a six there, so that's a seven. One and six. Let's go to box nine. We know what this number is. Only number left here. A uh, quick way to find that number is go two, seven, four, two, four. Oh, that's got to be a seven. Nine, five, and eight are already there. Nine, five, and eight. So seven, seven, seven. <clears throat> and then we're missing one, three, six. One, three, and six here. There's a one, one, one. There's a three right there. So the three here, box nine has to go there. And that's a six. And now we just need three, six, seven in the in box three. There's six and seven, so that's a three. There's a seven, so that's a six, and that's a seven. And we've got it. All right. Well, this puzzle got tough right in the middle. But being creative and carefully watching things like DCEs and DREs, we were able to get through that difficult point.
mainly because we had a th one of these was a three, one of these was a three, which made one of these a three. And that was one, two, and that was one, two, three. Knowing that the three had to go in row nine in box nine, eliminated the three there. And so we were able to get the one, two twins and place the seven there and the two there. And that broke through the puzzle and uh, made it so we could continue on. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see y'all soon.